<clears throat> okay, so many of you probably don't know. I have an extreme like fear, aversion, almost a phobia of needles. Like I get sick, I panic, I go into panic attacks, I will pass out and I will literally go through the five stages of is it five stages? I will go through the stages of grief in like two minutes because of needles. It's bad. So um, I guess because when you go to the doctor, there are just some times when you have to get shots, you have to give blood, just sometimes these things happen, like, in order to get healthy or to make sure that you are in good health, these things need to be done, and it's very difficult if you're, like, really a big baby like me, so, um, one thing you definitely want to do is see if they have somewhere for you to just lay down and relax. Because it's much easier when you're sitting up on a chair and they've got your arms here. They have your arms out and they're going to do it. You look away, you can still see like your arm and your hand and the doctor and your peripheral vision either way. When you're laying back, you can't see your body even in your peripheral really. And it's so much easier. So if you really don't want to see any of it, and it actually helps your body relax more, it feels much better. So just lay down. If they don't have a place for you to lay down, they should have a reclining chair that goes far back. If not, I don't know if they don't. Like, if they don't have anything, then ask to go somewhere else maybe, but you might have to deal with a chair, which I really hope you don't have to. Uh, let's see, what else? Um, try, if you know you're going to have to get, like, blood work done, which is what I had to do, like, for a doctor, like, maybe a new doctor, or if something's wrong, they want to test your blood, make sure, get it done as soon as possible. Like, the best is probably, like, like, a few minutes after your doctor says, I want a blood test done, and they send you to, like, another area in the doctor's office, hospital, whatever. That's really best because that was so easy. Well, actually, best would be just someone coming and take the blood, because you wouldn't have time to worry. Like, if they say, we want blood work done, come in in a week or a few days, ask them for something sooner, because if you're really afraid, like I am, the longer you get, the longer you have before it's going to be done, the more you stress. The, la the first time I had to have a blood test done, it was about an hour in between, hour-ish, I'll say, because I don't exactly remember, it's, it was a year ago or so, about an hour from when the doctor ordered it and we left to getting to the hospital where they did it, um, like the other side of town, and then getting in there and signing it and then actually having it done, and the longer you have to think about it, the worse it's going to be. It was bad, it was horribly painful. I cried so much. I cried the whole way there. I cried a little, uh, quite a bit on the way back. I made the doctor feel very bad. That's not something you want to do because it's not fun. Especially when you do a lot of makeup like I do because then you're like, oh god, my face! But this time, which was yesterday, all it was was this doctor's office was two floors. We're up on the upper floor. They order a blood test. We go downstairs hand the woman the paperwork, she fills stuff out, and then she's like, get you set up in the chair, after I already, she had me in the chair, I freaked out, started crying, and then she had me lay down, which was much easier, um, so, it was just a very quick thing, the quicker you can get it done, the better, you have less time to stress, what else, look away, good lord, don't look, and Try your hardest not to think about it. Like, if you have someone in there to just, like, talk to you about other stuff while it's happening, that helps. For me, I get very mean when there is a needle in me. <laughs> I feel really bad. Because I'm sitting there. Well, I'm laying there. She's got the needle in my arm. I don't know. Maybe now that I'm... Now that I just turned the light thing back on. But maybe when I... Yeah, that big red dot. There's blood pooling up in my hole. Um... It's totally normal. It's fine. I'm not going to die. 
Um, so I'm laying there. She's got, she's just putting the needle in me. I feel it. And I'm like, because I'm crying, crying, crying. All of a sudden she puts it on, I just stop. And I'm like, even breathing, you know. And my mom's like, well, Sam, are you excited for band camp this summer? I'm like, no, band camp sucks. She's like, well, what about prom? That was fun. No, mom, prom was stupid and I hated it. Well, what about your day? He was like, no, he wasn't. He sat there the whole time. And both my mom and the woman taking my blood are just like in shock. But it worked for me. Because I was angry that I that they're taking my blood. The red, the red bone marrow in my femurs worked very hard to make the blood that's in my body. And my lungs have worked very hard to pull in the oxygen and put it into my blood. I don't want it taken out of my body. I would like it to stay in. But hey, it is done. <sighs> what other tips? Definitely You really need to make sure you stop and think. Make sure you're not hyperventilating. Because it's bad. I've passed out. Well, almost passed out a few times just getting shots. I almost passed out when I was getting blood drawn the first time. And that's scary. It's scary for you. It's scary for the people in the hospital helping you. It's, it's not fun either. Because then the whole process takes a lot longer. Best thing you want to do... I like just talk about other things, like, for me, I get kind of aggressive, like I said, so I just talk about things I hate, things that frustrate me, I'll insult things that I don't even really have an opinion about or that I even like, like, I could be having to get a shot or something, like, oh, you want to listen to your favorite band? No, they suck! Like, I get very angry. Like, we all have our own ways of dealing with it. Just find your way, really. If you're scared of something, like, even just a regular fear of anything, like, think of how you deal with it. Like, do you laugh it off? Do you call it a stupid name? Do you yell at it? Like, find what works for you. Because getting your blood drawn and getting shots is terrifying. So, it's a good, uh, good way to think about it. Just you relax and figure out how you cope with it, it all goes so much faster and you get out of there faster. And I've got an issue where I've got some friends and like people on Facebook who think that I'm a big baby for hating needles and crying whenever I like hear about them or anything and blah 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 and having panic attacks and what not um like if anybody says that to you tell them to fuck right off because like if I had a friend cause I don't think I have any friends with like irrational fears like this is considered I guess but, like, say if I had a friend who was genuinely afraid of, like, clowns or spiders, like a phobia, where they cried and panicked, I would not sit there and go, oh, deal with it, oh, oh, like, that, you're such a big baby, that's not how you deal with things. That's not how you make other people deal with things. Like, do, do people think it's funny? Like, I don't like having to leave my anatomy class during blood testing day. I don't like it. I don't like getting sick just from my teacher talking about getting flu shots. I don't like it. It's embarrassing to me. You don't need to sit there and tell me that I'm a big baby because I know it. But you want to sit here and complain about the way I am, then fine, do it. And whatever you do, don't mess with somebody. Like, don't sit there and go, oh, 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 look, I'm gonna stick a needle in me. Or like, oh, what happens if you go get a shot and the needle breaks off? Or if your blood starts squirting out? Like, why would you do that? I've had people do that to me. I had a boyfriend do that to me. 
like, find out the things that gross me out and send me panicking, like, talking about needles and broken bones and disgusting injuries, like, like, your skin breaking open. I hate it. Like, little cuts I can deal with, but if it's like, and like, your, a lot of blood's coming out, cause you need your blood. You need your blood. That's the big thing. You need your blood. Your bones make your blood. And your bones don't make blood forever. They can only make so much. Like, you need it. You need it as much as you can. And, like, your bones, they should stay in your body. They shouldn't be, like, sticking out. So, he would always, like, poke and prod, like, oh, like, show me pictures. Not that was somebody else who showed me pictures, but, like, he'd sit there and, like, talk about it, like, talk about when he went and got shots, and he actually sent me into a panic attack once at his house. And it terrified him, because my panic attacks come off physically. And, like, really, just imagine if somebody sat there and told you the things that make you very sad or upset over and over until you just broke down and cried. That's kind of like how it is, except it makes you feel very sick physically. A panic attack will make you very, very sick. Like, well, sometimes. I don't know about everybody. But for me, my body has, like, convulsions where I'm, like, twitching on the ground. I have full consciousness. I'm not having seizures. But my body contorts and twitches. And it's scary for everyone around me. It's scary for me. I don't like it. But it hurts, too. And then you're sore for the next few days because of it. So please, don't mess with people who have phobias or fears or anything, because it's very unpleasant, it hurts, and it could be very unpleasant for you, too. What else is there to say about shots and needles and stuff? It's very hard for me to... Excuse me. It's kind of difficult for me to talk about it. Because I do have a very bad fear. Like, God. Uh, I feel very bad because I would love to donate blood at blood drives. I want to so bad. I want to donate blood. I want to help. I want to do all that. But the thought of laying in a chair for 6 to 12 minutes. I think it's 7 to 12. Somewhere in there. Up to 12 minutes-ish. couldn't do it. Like, I can barely handle laying on that bed for, like, less than a minute. Like, 30 to 45 seconds just to take a little bit of blood out of here. I couldn't do it. And it upsets me. Especially when people at my school are like, oh, sign up for the blood drive. Uh, no, I'll pass out. And they give me a look, like, like I'm being rude or... I'm trying to be disrespectful, and I'm not. I just get sick. That's... It sucks. And, like, I feel like a big baby enough. And then, like, I get, like, adults, full-grown adults, say, oh, grow up. And, like, deal with it. And it's like, How about you grow up and stop, like, being rude to technically a child? Like, how about you grow up and learn to be respectful? Like, I'm gonna go. Okay? That's all I really can think to say now, so.